Where do you go from here, Debbie? Oh, I hate that feeling of like waking up after a terrible day. You know what I mean? Like after a fight or something like that. It's the worst. Anyang. Well, that's awkward. Listen, I can explain everything. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough, Mark. Oh yeah, meanwhile. She's on her fun solo tree adventure. But it's gonna wear out, right? Like, this kind of thing is gonna be fun. It's gonna get the feeling of adventure, and then loneliness will creep in. She'll just think about, you know, her life back home, and, you know, who could I be with right now? Oh, I know. Mark. <laughs> Handsome, confident, having a great time, Mark. She thinks of Amber. <laughs> Amber and Mark together. Little does she know they're, like, not doing so well. Why did you keep it? Maybe part of me wanted you to find it too. After 20 Very years honest. together, I deserve to know the truth. I wanted to tell you months ago. But you didn't. Yeah, this is this is unresolved. Like, there's potentially, well, I'm not going to say a great reason, but he's got reasons. I mean, he wouldn't, you know, he's not a great, great guy, I wouldn't say either. But he's human, or at least, you know what I mean, like he's human-ish. A lot of things can be true at once, which is sort of the complicated but interesting thing. My gut sense is that he, en he enjoyed doing that and he wanted to do it but it also could be possible that in his mind there's a valid reason that preceded that and it seems likely that he wouldn't have done that without that justification so i'm kind of curious what it is was someone controlling you that was my first thought too but no it's not it no no then why you need to trust me that's kind of difficult right now how could i possibly trust you now because you yeah. know there's a lot of things i thought i knew about you the guardians were our friends. Yeah. You killed them. I had no choice. I don't believe that. This no choice thing again. Get out of my house. Yeah, that's fair. We'll talk later. Your own house? Come on, dude. <laughs> Does your property damage no no bounds? <laughs> Debbie, I'm sorry, but you have to come with us. There's no time. This is a, a huge deal. Who knows how he's going to react to this? Any number of things could happen. Hi, Amber. See you later. Amber. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on. Man, he's got no no consideration for his friend. Just hops out the car. You're right. <laughs> I've been an asshole and I'm sorry I didn't realize that sooner. But that all stops. This could today. all be resolved. Here you go. Literally the explanation would solve everything. I'm in No title card. She just put a stop to that immediately. <gasps> oh my god. It's okay. Oh well that explains everything. <laughs> this is why I'm always late or why I don't show. Because I'm off saving lives or stopping some bad guys. This is a Mars rock, not a Mirth rock, like I previously said. Did you hear what I just said? What? I know you're a superhero. What? You you know? I'm not an idiot. I figured it out weeks ago. Then then why are you so I, angry? I'm fighting because you lied to me. You made me feel stupid and unimportant. No, it's stop it! Identity. Stop it! And because you don't trust me. I'm trusting you now. Dude, you dated for like four, five minutes. Mark, I've stuck up for Amber somewhat. <laughs> Come on. This is just gonna be your life, you may as well just move on. But I know the feeling. This is one of those situations where it's just so apparent to everyone watching, except for the person they're watching, that everything's gonna work out. You know what I mean? Like, that's so often the case with love especially. Being fixated on, on one person. Everybody who's ever been through love and lived, and everybody looking knows that there are other people that are great. For some reason, the individual just can't see it. Like, they can understand that objectively, but it just doesn't have any feeling because you're relying on your imagination, which is never going to be as interesting or enticing as, like, someone you know, someone you have history with, etc. It's almost like you're, you know, you're trying to replace someone you have deep feelings for with, like, a ghost. You know what I mean? It's just not the same feeling. It's really hard to trust that enough that it actually is, you know, meaningful in terms of how you feel. But if Amber knew, she also could have told him that she knew, right? Wasn't that a lie in some sense on her part? Fly away, fly boy. Or take the stairs. I really don't give a shit. I'd like to be alone. She's gonna really regret that one day, or now, immediately. There's the regret. Is that eyebrow regret right there? That's how you know someone is regretful when their eyebrow, eyebrow moves. Hey, hey! Hey, monster girl! Welcome back! Uh-oh. Robot skin smitten. We start partying now. 10 a.m. As good a time as any. We're the guardians of the globe, baby. If we can die at any time, is that uh, alcohol milk? We can drink at any time. I filled them with beer. Hey. I figure it's karma for putting up with this guy. You're welcome. <laughs> well, they did build camaraderie, right? I would never let you die. Die. Sensitive row, bro. Die. 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 Die.
apologies. This date is going well. Programming error. Soon to be fixed. First crushes are always awkward. <laughs> we've all been there. You know, we've all we've all had small programming errors. <laughs> Telling our crushes to die. It happens. You can recover from this, I think. You still got a shot with whatever creepy ambitions you have with her. He had his head on the bench and he was just standing over it, prying it open with a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh my god. It's amazing how this robot face can display so much information, so much emotion. It was a cold tin body. Step back, please. What is robot working on? Giant mechanical spider? What in what? Oh, oh he's creating this thing. This is his thing. It's his baby. It's the real robot. Well done. Perhaps you're the original then. <laughs> That's not luck. luck. So they're making him a new body. Was that little weird thing in the pickle jar his old body? Like he's had like a human connection or something like that? So he's not totally robotic. But why take a human form when you have this beautiful bronze Bronze figure, bronze body. Let's discuss our payment and we'll do all of that. I feel like they're not making it out of this alive. Yeah, I feel like Robot is definitely several steps ahead. God, what that Sinclair guy was doing to people. <laughs> Mark's like, yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> what about Amber? I'm a terrible friend and a worse boyfriend because I'm gonna fail my last year of high school. Doesn't because matter. I got everything I ever wanted and I messed it all up. Oh man, think bigger, Mark. Think bigger. You have everything. Of course. Your dad's Omni Man. Are they gonna eat these burgers or just let him let them sit on the dashboard a while? Enough with the sulking, you big baby. <laughs> what? You can fly. Yeah, yeah, tell him, Will. You just need to study and you can pull up your grades. But you were a terrible boyfriend to Amber and you got what you deserved. I like how he backloaded that. Friends tell friends the truth. Not like that, they don't. I just got dumped, dude. You got dumped weeks ago. You just didn't realize it. You're like a bad guy in a samurai movie who gets cut in half but thinks they're fine until they're like, oh my god, my top half sliding away from my bottom half. Is this foreshadowing? Ooh. Oh, I see. It foreshadowed this burger. But I need someone else to talk to. <laughs> I know that feeling too. When you're in that state, you don't want to hear the truth. Although when Mark's more clear-headed, he's going to be grateful for Will. You know, buying him a, a Burger Mart burger and telling him the cold, hard truth. This happens to me all the time where I hear the idea and I completely reject it, but now it's in there and I can't get it out and... It, it wins. I think the key takeaway there, though, is that Mark can do better. I mean, he can have anything he wants. Let's be real. I just feel like Omni Man's gonna come so unhinged now. Like, with things with Debbie, Debbie on the rocks. Good. We who knows? Talk. That was what was anchoring him to the world. How could you know and not tell me? I couldn't risk no one finding out we knew. Right. This situation is, is like the peak of danger. Cecil! I'm not sure we could kill him. Not us, anyway. Yeah, that leaves one obvious candidate. But he is not ready. He's nowhere near ready. You can't. Where's Mark, Debbie? Where's... <laughs> I love how it's getting bloodier each time. Mark, I killed the Guardians of the Globe. Oh, Wait, wow. Before you say anything, oh, no, he's practicing. He's rehearsing. I didn't want to do it. But it had Some level you kind of did, though. You kind of did. Other people won't understand that, but I know you can. No, I think Mark's too far gone. I'm here for this changing everything, though. This should be good. When you're the most powerful man in the universe, but your life is falling apart. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> I didn't design it to be drained or ever opened. What changed? I met someone. Make room, please. Is that what he's after? It really is just like romance? I thought he wanted to use her for something. Ugh. Don't make a face. You lost the coin toss. I don't know, he's kind of cute, no? <laughs> In his, in his way? No? Okay. My entire life has been painful. So much love motivation in this show. It like drives so much of the plot. This procedure doesn't transfer you to the new body. It creates a copy of your mind. Oh wow. Interesting. I understand. Wow. That's sort of a, a selfless sacrifice in a way. It's kind of interesting. He's giving like a, his other self, another version of himself, a chance at love. <laughs> <sighs> That's really cool. Two physical clones making some kind of mental clone. But this time there's no ambiguity about who the original is. You couldn't have designed yourself with abs? Which... which am I? Well, I guess there is ambiguity. <laughs> Just look! Look at it! <laughs> That's how it works. Right, right. We had to make it seamless. Otherwise, one of us knows he's the clone and that never ends well. In your case, it's a little more obvious. 
But it looks like that problem took care of itself. This is sad. I'm sorry it wasn't you. Don't don't be be happy. This is Change so the weirdly sweet. World. Whoa. Experience everything we never could. I'm so sorry I doubted you, robot? This is what I want. Please. This is heart wrenching. It ended up being like this huge selfless sacrifice. He had nothing to gain except the knowledge that someone like him would enjoy a life he didn't have. I was not expecting that at all. The fact that he went to that nuclear option so quickly and was like, you know, creepily looking at Robot Girl. I thought he wanted her body because he's building a new body, but no, he wants to live, poor guy. Although you never know. <laughs> you never know. I feel like there's a lot of twists coming. Okay, well, Robot's got a new bot, I guess. Thank you, baby Robot, for your, your selfless sacrifice. It was an act of mercy. We know. We do it all the time. Even the clones are touched. Our schematics. Oh no, I have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling. And now that our deal is complete... Oh, you're out of the deal. It's time you both return to prison. <laughs> or not. <laughs> no, he's serious. serious. Wow. He gets to have everything. He gets to be robot and man. Oh my god. Totally unnecessary. You wanna die? This is just, this makes no sense. He's just gonna kill them all. Cause he does enjoy it on some level. Did you not see what he did to the animal, that alien planet? Or I guess no one did. He's gonna finish her off. Oh, she just gave them away. <laughs> Cecil's little lap dog. Run now! Wow, he's got moves. This is so cool, though. Even though it's terrible. It's been an honor, sir. <laughs> Who are you talking? What is it? Self destruct? Yeah. <laughs> but that's not gonna do it either. I mean, just I don't know. Property damage intensifies. He's gonna find Mark. I don't know who Nolan is anymore. No one is safe. I don't know what he's going to do. Me neither. So we better find Mark first. What? Hey, Eve. Um, are you trying to rebound right now? I mean, I feel like it was destiny. They were always gonna end up together. Nice. Are they building a weapon on the move? That's awesome. On three. One, two, three. Yeah, he's a, got bigger fish to fry. Speaking of fries. What the hell was that? Have you seen Mark? You look kind of uh, recently on fire. <laughs> so sinister. That's not blood on you, is it? Oh yeah, it's blood. It's a lot of blood. It's all human blood. What are insurance premiums like in this world? You know what he needs? He needs one of those spinning ball things so we know he's still alive. I'm very much alive. More so now than ever. What the... <laughs> Why the fuck do you look like me? How the fuck do you look like me? Oh, is that the design? Forget the crisis. You can explain now. Is it because Robot Girl is flirting with him? There are just so many more important things happening right now, though. We need to buy some time first. Let's bring the hammer down. The hammer? <laughs> what you got, Cecil? You got dumped. Yeah, she sounds real sorry, doesn't she? Real sorry. But I didn't tell you to string her along for five months while being an asshole. Oh, it's been it. five months. I thought you'd figure <laughs> okay. that part out yourself. Still, still. Oh my god, I haven't figured out anything. I don't know who I am, who I'm supposed to be. Yeah. They're in a lot of danger right now. I was with Teen Team for three years. Oh, I should clarify, I'm not talking about Omni-Man, although that is also a danger. <laughs> this is an existential threat to the human heart. This is a really tricky situation because I feel like if you make a decision based purely on some negative emotion that you're feeling, you know, just trying to get out of it, looking for any out, obviously your, your judgment is clouded, but also it's very difficult to keep making good choices from that point because to sever that tie in a way means resetting to that that negative state because you've never processed it. It's just lurking there. And I think that subconsciously we're aware of that. Like our problems just wait for us. They're just waiting there for us to deal with them. You don't want to like use another person as your, your personal band-aid for your, your emotional pain. Being out here is an upgrade to living with my parents. 
That is damn true. I should call my mom, though. Yeah, it was really dad that was the issue. There was a big issue. You wouldn't dare. Here comes the hammer. Nice. What does that remind me of? How much did that cost the taxpayers, I wonder? But he's gonna shake it off. Debbie must be so conflicted right now. These poor innocent birds. All falling in exactly the same position. Hit him again. He's just gonna take out the satellite. Like, you get one, really. Oh my god, he just flew right through it. <laughs> it's terrifying. <laughs> Speaking of taking action through pain. $400 billion for the world's most expensive I knew it, blade. yeah. Then I received Cecil's alert and left for here as quickly as I could. Any questions? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, a few. <laughs> I'm with Rex. I mean, sure. I keep reacting the same way as Rex. It's weird. Why a kid version of me? That's just weird. Exactly. Yeah, he's trying to date Monster Girl. He did it for me. Hey. What? what are you even talking about? Sharp. We were both prisoners in our own bodies. I escaped my prison. Now I'll help you escape yours. That's kind of sweet. I adapted your DNA because I noticed Monster Girl found you interesting. Very honest. What? Wait, oh, what? Monster Girl shifty eyes. Oh my God. I don't Look at those shifty eyes. How to feel about that. <laughs> God damn it, robot! Oh no, I feel like Robot Girl just got rejected. And you expect us all to be like, oh sure, who wouldn't? I, yes, I mean, I did. It's a little clingy. I need time to process this. Yeah. I bet everyone else does too. It's a lot of pressure to put on someone. What the fuck is going on today? <laughs> yeah, it's quite the day for sure. What is that? That is the sound of $400 billion being evaporated. That's not why I came out here. You came out here to get away from Rex and all that superhero bullshit. No, she's like really connected with the superhero bullshit. I needed to start over, but that doesn't mean ignoring the world when it needs me. Yeah, no, she's, she's definitely doing a lot better now. I get that you're feeling shitty because Amber dumped you, but trust me, you'll feel worse if you sit here and do nothing when you could save lives. Yeah, that is such good advice. You gotta stay focused on the big picture. Always. Don't let, like, a relationship sabotage your great things. The infrastructure of your life. <laughs> so I look up balls, I'll give it to him. You thought that could hurt me? No, I no, wanted to get your attention. That was just to get your attention. Yeah. <sighs> well, you got it. <sighs> well, I've faced death more times than I can count, but I'll be damned if that didn't put my balls in my throat. <laughs> I just want to know why. Wait, that teleport was unnecessary, but okay. They were your friends, and so was I. Which is why I know you didn't care for the fun of it. Let's hear it, yeah. Although there was the fun too. That was there. So many secrets in this show. So much could be cleared up with just, you know, speaking honestly. You hurt her, not me. She and I have that in common now. Yeah, this is an actual weapon that Cecil has. I'm a good liar. I'm a very good liar. But you, you're better. He's not that good. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Hell, you fooled all of us for what? 20 years? True. But I think people see what they want to see. Did they just adapt the technology of the, the guy on the college campus? What are those things? Dead soldiers. Serving their country one last time. Thanks to that monster <laughs> over there. Yeah, yeah. I love how that, that neck break attempt just failed horribly. Yep, this is how Omni-Man does it. You're just seeing it. He's definitely got a flair for the dramatic. Get him out of here. <laughs> and get Hail Mary out of the icebox. Hail Mary? This guy's got a lot of tools at his disposal. How do we know he'll revive? Oh, Say the reviving, uh, back. budget Superman. Another kaiju? Kraken kaiju. Oh, that was the, uh, the squid they had for dinner. We removed his pain center and juiced it up with every drug enhancement and upgrade we had. Right, and he struggled with it the first time. Pissed it off. <laughs> well, God damn it, get it working! Or we're all dead. What do you think he's coming next? I like how Cecil acknowledges that he's gonna win. This is just buying time, like he said. Call her phone. That'd be making sense. And she loves using her phone while flying. That's been established. Jesus, Mark, you sound just like my dad. Oh no, he's he's here. He's gonna. Save him. Eve, Stop it. Mom. Stop it. I <laughs> to talk to him. You okay? Mark. You mean invincible. 
This would be a really sweet moment if it wasn't for everything else going on. It's still kind of a sweet moment. Come it would on. be a lot of fun. Yeah, this is going to be great. It's going to team up like this. What? Cecil! Listen to me and do what I say. You gotta explain. One sentence would take care of everything. These people need to start speaking honestly. Omni-Man killed the Justice League. He's rogue. These clones ended up being just so important. Th this gives them an edge against Omni-Man. I mean, well, I mean, he made such short work of him the first time. Oh, dude's been around. Where is Omni-Man? Where is he? Interesting. So much going on at once. I got so many mixed feelings. It's kind of awesome seeing the fight side by side. Cecil sent it after me. Cecil? Why would he do that? There's so much you don't know, This Mark. is not how he what? practiced it, but do it. Say it. There's a new contact approaching Omni-Man and Invincible. Mach 3. God damn it, I told Eve to stay away. It's not Eve. It's not Adam Eve. <laughs> How Omni-Man must feel right now. This is the second thing he's fighting today that he's already killed. Omni-Man is a lot weaker now, though. He's taking some some beatings today. I'm having a hard time believing what I'm seeing here, folks. But the it's a great news day. It's a fantastic news day. You betrayed us. You should have stayed dead. <laughs> oh no. And he's doing it from a place of like fatherly love, you know. I mean. He he sees Mark as a tool as well, but that's not the feeling I'm getting from his concern for him. He does love Mark. He does love Debbie. Interestingly, Omni-Man is sort of the underdog, too. Yeah, well. There's the underdog, jamming his fist through the guy's stomach. Oh. Everything's coming up. Ro robot. Robot Rudy. Rudy is the one person in this world right now who's happy. This is very confusing. Dad. Mark. Here's the speech. Just like we practiced. We need to talk. Yes, you do. Oh, is it going to be the next episode? Damn you. Oh, wait, we've got an end credit scene, right? Where is it? Come on, don't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. That was intense. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. <laughs> it's just so much fun. I mean, that ending fight sequence was just so beautifully conceived because you have all these different elements coming together and Omni-Man on a rampage and clearly dangerous and clearly being framed at least right now as the villain of the show yet also being an underdog yet also having this glorious moment of him fighting side by side with Mark which is, which is a lot of fun which feels like a payoff for his for Mark's growth and for all their training and things like that then just randomly <laughs> the immortal dude showing up it just was flying in all directions Omni-Man interestingly like despite his his crazy wrath fueled nature and despite this dark turn there are moments where I feel like he's actually more compelling than usual just because they're hinting very strong that we're going to get the reveal of why he's doing this, right? And it could potentially be a, a game changer in some ways. I mean, I'm sure I'm, I'm going to still think it, it was wrong, but it could make it more understandable why he would think it's a good choice, at least. And also, he does really care about Mark, which is very humanizing. He is a man who's sort of losing everything, which is humanizing, even if it's deserved. You get all of Cecil's amazing tools. You got Cecil having balls of steel, even if they are in his throat. And then separately from that whole sequence and Omni-Man and stuff, you get this really interesting thing with Robot and his actual love for Monster Girl, which is based on something we've seen develop. You know, the appreciation of being stuck in a body that, that wasn't theirs and looking for compatibility. There's a real loneliness there that's kind of cool. And a surprisingly touching scene of like mental transfer, which was really interesting. Did not expect that at all. So yeah, we got one episode left and that's gotta be when we get the reveal, right? And how will Mark react? I'm guessing that he will not fall on Omni-Man's side. I feel like he's just developed too much. He doesn't really have as much of that wrathful nature Omni-Man has. He also seems to lead more with his heart than his mind. So all in all, very, very good stuff. A very exciting start to the final two episodes. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time for the, the grand finale of season one.